Right guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a new year, which means it's time for only one thing. Nick's New Year Painting Challenge. Of course, I will be taking part. If you don't know who Idik Beer is, go and check out his channel. Nick is very, very inspirational. Puts a video practically every day. I don't think he's missed a day um, of hobby tips, inspiration, conversions. And he's an absolute sound, sound guy. Uh, last year I took part in Nick's New Year's Painting Challenge and I got an absolute shed load of models painted. So, I've got a number of things that I want to try and get done over the coming months. And basically this video log is going to be uh, just keeping track of what I get done. To show you guys what I'm working on. Um, and yeah, what's on my desk at the minute basically. So there's a number of things that you can see in front of you. Uh, first of all, I have been starting some of my Blood Bowl models. Uh, this is just a rough sort of base coat at the moment. The Orcs, I'm going for a nice yellow and brown. Obviously all the black there will be painted with metal. I'm really excited. I've only played a couple of games of Blood Bowl uh, with Tom, but I absolutely loved it. So these guys are getting painted up. I will be doing a painting tutorial. I've kept the Black Orc back out of the way. Uh, ready to do a painting tutorial for you because I managed to get hold of this guy. This is a brute, uh, an auric brute from Age of Sigma. Um, I'm basically going to be using him as an extra black orc. So there'll be a painting tutorial incoming for those. Uh, moving across, I've been working on some uh, corn bloodbound stuff. So I've got the blood secreter here uh, from the Age of Sigma box. I've had the Age of Sigma box a while actually, but I haven't really had the mojo uh, to get any models painted for it. So I've basically pulled my finger out, getting the Secreator painted up and five Blood Warriors. There will of course be more of these coming in as I expand uh, Corn Forces for Age of Sigma. I've really, really enjoyed learning Age of Sigma. And of course, all of those will be mounted on these fantastic skull resin bases from Terrier Demonscapes. Any resin bases I buy, I go straight to him. Not only is he one of the cheapest out there, the quality and the details and the range is absolutely fantastic. So shout out to Terry from Demonscapes for those. Uh, these two guys here at the back, Death Watch. It's going to be a very, very slow project painting the Death Watch up, but I'm going to enjoy I'm just basically going to dip in and out and paint a model or two here or there. So these guys are from the Overkill box, but I have got an entire army waiting to go. But yeah, I enjoy painting up the Watchmaster. You might have seen them on the photo on the channel banner. And they are going on these bases. These are Rune bases, again from Terry at Demonscapes. Um, and what I'm going to do is do like a very kind of bony uh, colour ruin and basically have them uh, in snow. And because I don't have any snow bases yet. So that's that. Uh, other things, uh, Lucy is working on more Stormcast Eternals. She's got the uh, £100 battle box that she's currently on building. The Prime is built, the Knight Azeroth is built, as are these guys, the Dracothian Guard. Interesting fact about the Dracothian Guard, I'll just swap hands. Um, basically each of the arms is fully magnetized as is if I can get it off, there we go so each of the um, heads of these is magnetized it's just a magnet glued on the top there um, and the arms basically snap back into place so as you can run either the concussors, desolators uh, fulminators and what's the uh, the which ones? Tempestus ones, so she can run all four variants because we managed to get those magnetized up. You might also see this guy here. You might have saw our unboxing of Spire of Dawn. Well, Lucy is picking up the High Elves. She bought a second-hand uh, bundle from Ian. Uh, Ian is from Artifices and Artisans. He's a good friend, and we managed to pick up quite a few off him. Um, and we totaled it up in about 5,400 points. Mm -hmm. So quite a few points of High Elves also incoming for Sigma. Last but not least, I've also got Gene Steeler Cult on the table. These guys, I want to try and get them painted in a month. Not just what you see in front of us here, 
the entire army. All of it. I've got no idea how many points it is, but I'll be doing a separate video series. Um, I did start it, but unfortunately I haven't really had time to paint any of these guys up. You can see here the converted Lehman Russ. Uh, we've got the Sentinel. Um, and we've got some normal neophytes here with shotguns. And then I've converted some guard up into some of them as well. Uh, so yeah, these guys, I'm thinking of a colour scheme. Um, but we'll look at that in a video dedicated to just them. The bases as well, of course. Terrier Demonscapes, these bases are brilliant for tearing into this eggs on them. There's tentacles, there's these little plant suckery things that look a bit like spore mines. But yeah, the entire force is going to be based on them. So, lots of things on the go. I'm hoping uh, within a few months we can have painted Blood Bowl matches. We have a small Death Watch ma um, army on the go. More Corn Bloodbound. And of course the Gene Steeler Cult will hopefully be coming soon. Uh, for Sigma, like I said, the Corn Bloodbound. We're going to have more Stormcast with more variation in there as well as High Elves coming soon so i'll update you i'll try and update you about once every week or so uh, with what we've getting painted and you know what you can expect to see on the channel over the coming weeks so thanks very much for watching guys please check out all the channels uh, and especially demonscapes and nick beer and uh, thanks for watching